It's already going. Oh, it's already it's episode going. 59. It's episode 59. It's my favorite two numbers. Five, nine, five, 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 nine, nine, five, five, nine, nine, five, 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 five. Every phone number in the movies starts with five, five, five. It's one less than six, six, six. That's the fake number. That's the number you dial so other people don't get accidental calls because you put in their real area code in the commercial. Why did you do that to me? a whole different game now. You're not even dialing area codes. You're dialing pound. We're going to the pound to rescue the people. I'm a lawyer. And I've got two sons with my name as well. Uh, just the three kids. And the mom, too, I think is one of the Morgans. Nine children in total. We've got a lot of lawyer kids. Fifteen in school. That this, they, they raise themselves. This lawyer I met said uh, he knows John Morgan and he drives like sick exotic cars. Like, he's driving Ferraris and shit. You know who's paying for those, right? Well, us? Yeah, we're, we are. I get tired of paying other people's lawyer bills. I, can't, I, I keep like waking up at nights thinking like, why do I keep paying for the secret service for presidents? I go, I'm paying your guy's salary. I pay my taxes. I barely pay for living. My doctor told me I gotta stop paying my taxes. They gotta say. My doctor said, guess what, man? Everything's changed. Man, nothing's and, changed yeah, at all. Nothing's ever changed. So everything's exactly the same. Listen, guys, this is the first episode of the new year if we make it till then. I can't lie to you guys anymore. These episodes are pre-recorded. They're not live. I know that you think this is the radio because I told you that. Because you're my grandma. And I'm going to sit you down in the home and say, Hey, grandma, I'm on the radio. And you don't know that this is an internet podcast. You think this is live. You think I'm alive. You think I'm going to strive for greatness. Wait until you see what I'm doing after school programs. I'm delivering mail. I'm delivering everybody snow. I might need a scarf. I'm gonna scarf down the ribs at Christmas dinner. Hey Santa, did you grant me my wish? I wanna see you give me a new fish. I wanted underwater creatures for my Christmas morning. I like aquatic beings. And you remind me of that magical man in the book. Lord of the Rings, you look like Gandalf. Yeah, Santa looks suspiciously a lot like Gandalf. Listen, you're telling me Santa, Gandalf, and um, Dumbledore? Umbledore? I put the D in Dumbledore. You heard Dumbledore's gay? You heard he's gay, right? You know what else he is? What else is he? He's a magic man. And he's my teacher. Failed me on my grades. He's the vice principal of my school. He gave me a bad grade. I got a B minus in levitation. He flunked me. Dumbledore flunked me because this is a school. Let's not forget. Guys, we might think Harry Potter's a fun time and everything's just normal and chill. I've got some news for you. School school sucks. School's really... (laughs) That's a really hot take there. Yeah, you know, a lot of people might not agree with this, with this one, but um, I didn't like school. Why not? Why not? Yeah. How much time do you have? (laughs) Well, apparently... (laughs) Listen, there's a reason why I have a multicolored dagger sitting in the open. We just have this on live stream. Hey, for the viewers, I'm holding a big knife. It's okay. It's a it's a relic. It's a museum piece. It's not actually a real knife. It is a real knife. But you know, sometimes you gotta have knives laying out. Sometimes you got too many lives. 
Hashtag Knives Out. See it in theaters right now. This is the sponsored portion of the show. Guys, we've got something to tell you. Someone in this room is dead. Oh my god! Is it you? And who killed me? Who is it? Who keeps killing me? Yeah, it, it, that's that's the plot of my next movie. Yeah, I've got a... Who keeps killing me? It's just me being murdered by everybody that I meet. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this, uh, yeah have it reel up in there. Think so? That, yo, yeah, get that voice in there. All right, we'll uh, yeah, try. The, I'm, sure the, I'm sure the guitar is real prevalent. You think so? Oh, yeah. But, you know, there's, uh, there's people out there, these plants. I'm happy I could water these plants. It's the only thing uh, you gotta keep alive. <laughs> Listen, man. Let's just say I haven't been really good at keeping things alive. Check downstairs. Ouch! What are you trying to say? You can't get it up? No way. <laughs> no way. You're having trouble with a lot of things right now. I'm having trouble with a lot of things right now. And none of those things involve sexuality. <laughs> Cause sex! You guys know what I'm talking about. You in the front row. Show me what you've got. We'll do it in the back of the hospital car. What? <laughs> yeah, that's... So that's the plot of the next movie. Yeah, I mean, it's a movie called uh, Love Under Wraps. <laughs> oh, it's so good. It's uh, people in a hospital, and they uh, they both have their face covered, and they fall in love, you know? How many and, hours do you have? Has that been done yet? Which one? Have they made a movie where, uh, you know, two people fall in love in the hospital, and they can't see each other? I feel like that was like an episode of a cartoon. <laughs> yeah, th I, I, f I saw that, and uh, that's an episode of uh, Young Sheldon. Yeah, I'm actually, I'm, I'm the co-key grip of Teen Sheldon. We've been a... Uh, Rewiring some old cameras to shoot higher def. High def? What are you talking about, my my stoned, impaired friend? High def, guys, come on. <laughs> guys, put your drinks down. Uncock them. Take those eyes out of your your safety. Macaulay culked me. Safety eyes. Listen, Larry King asked Macaulay Culkin on TV, he said, you know, they say Michael Jackson has sleepovers with a whole bunch of kids. You've had sleepovers with Michael Jackson. Is it true that he has many boys sleep in his bedroom at the same time? And then Macaulay Culkin was like, how many boys? He goes, how many boys is too many boys? Yeah, he, he goes, uh, <laughs> he goes, listen, this is Michael Jackson, okay? He's got a huge bedroom. So when we, you know, when they say many boys are falling asleep in his bedroom you gotta understand it's a big room it's a big room it's a big room okay so it's just like saying we got someone's the bombs, taking a nap okay? at disney <laughs> what'd you say it's like disney <laughs> you know they, like someone's uh, you're taking a nap yeah it, everyone's taking a nap at disney you know you're waiting yeah, everybody there. at disney just needs to lay down they get in the magical castle or whatever they call it you mm -hmm. know the pumpkin kingdom it's like everybody line up right now they We're say, gonna... everybody, leave your strollers at the curb. This is the smoking area. By the way, Disney doesn't have a smoking area anymore. I checked. <laughs> yeah, you went for it? You want to check it out? <laughs> I said, excuse me, <laughs> rat monster, whatever the fuck you are. A hey, giant up to smiley people? rat. Smiley mouse, come Have here. you seen a... <laughs> Have you seen the smoking area? Excuse me. Yeah, you grab them, you shake them. <laughs> hey, I know, I know you're not supposed to talk, <laughs> but I need to smoke now. And uh, he takes his head <laughs> off, <laughs> and you see what's inside. You know, and, they uh, keep complaining uh, that they keep yeah, getting fondled. It's Baby Yoda. Yeah, they keep. Uh, <laughs> these, would they keep getting fondled? Who keeps fondling these? Like, That's why I got the a, job. Hello. I joined the, the Disney army because I wanted people to love me. Yeah, how many people you think are like that? Where they're like, I want to be a prince for life. Yeah, how <laughs> It's like... It's, I want to be a prince for my whole life. So, you know, so you're saying that cats 
that movie. I was in Cats. <laughs> 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 you did really well in that. Yeah. I starred and filmed it. It was a <laughs> selfie stick. Cats was filmed on a selfie stick. I'll show you where to stick yeah. it. <laughs> My cat hole. Yeah, it's a, that, that's why people didn't like it. You know, it was filmed like Cloverfield. They said it feels too real. They said, listen, this Cats movie is ruining my life. And, and, uh, but all that matters is that John Wick and Matrix 4 are coming out on the same day. So, you know, you go, what can I live for? Because obviously I can't live for Hobbs and Shaw. What are you crazy? Well, Hobbs and Shaw 2 is coming out. Oh, God, no. Yeah, it's Let's make a movie about the guy who killed Han. That's what you're telling me. This movie, this movie business, you call it? You're telling me that morals don't matter. Family doesn't matter. I'm not Carl Winslow anymore. Family don't matter. Told me that we were supposed to love each other, man. You said we were supposed to love each other, my dude. You got a problem, my guy? You got a problem with me, my guy? You got some problems on my head? Where's the problems at, huh? Show me the problems, and I show you a problem, okay? Because, because you know, I was reading the Bible the other day. <laughs> Uh huh. The, uh, the um, plot of the next Hobbs That's and Shaw. Uh, next you heard one. it here first. The ne plot of the next. Oh yeah, the Hobbs and Shaw movie. Yeah, I yeah, forgot. So that's, uh, <laughs> I forgot. That's what we were talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, if we forget that uh, this we're, we're recording our parts separately. <laughs> yeah, I forgot. I'm in Alaska and you're in California. Yeah, you. And, uh, <laughs> so, like, I, I I'm recording this from uh, just a one. <laughs> we're on like, a Zoom <laughs> selfie camera. <laughs> I'm I'm forward facing my TCL tablet. Yeah, was, <laughs> they destroy the hard drives immediately after we're done. Oh, like every time we finish recording this, it explodes a few seconds afterwards. Yeah, it's just like, thanks for your recording. Beep, boop, beep, and boop, boop. Smash, explode, <laughs> painful, violent, glass everywhere. I just cleaned up all the glass. There's a waterfall. That is not a waterfall. No, I'm pretty sure there's a waterfall at the end. No, that. What is that then? It's an illusion at the end. Oh. You know, you know when like you're you're driving on the road and, uh -huh. and like really far away, it looks like there's no road. It's oh just sure. Kind of like. Yeah, yeah, I was just. Uh... Yeah, there's like just like big vast like blank spaces where your eyes oh, are yeah. just like what. Why can't I see that part of the road? Oh, yeah. yeah. I was just en route for 19 hours. Oh, you, you did that. I love... Oh, it was... Uh, yeah, I felt like the old cowboys. <laughs> just, Where it's like... It is pretty crazy to think. I got from one part of the country down to the other part of the country. But you saw the loading screen, right? Loading screen? Yeah, it was, just, it was very far away. It was just very... Oh, oh yeah. You just... Uh, I can't believe I'm here right now. You're not. <laughs> I don't actually, think I am. You you are. Uh, Where am I? Well, we we, been, we regret here, to right? tell you this, sir. Oh, but God, um, we. who's the we? Yeah. You, well, you this, don't see the team no of doctors we. surrounding you right now. Oh, you're one of those many doctors. Yeah, I see all of you very clearly. Yeah, we're the the doctors that that can control your. Uh, Check this out. This is one of my grandfather's functions? last paintings. The one behind you is from 1980. This one's from like three years ago. And it was one of his last ever. Wow. How crazy is that? Yeah, that is... You can keep staring at that. What in the hell? It's yeah, you can like, stare at this forever. It's just like, what... What? And see, that's what TNF's trying to be like. We're trying to be like my grandfather's paintings, which you should all go see somehow. Yeah, there's a, a new. Uh, it's we have a, a new segment. We just get. We just host a like an art gallery I know, downstairs. I, really, I feel like I should because yeah. my grandmother. Yeah, you just put up like the the George Carlin piece too. Like the, <laughs> yeah, like, we had the the plane train poster. 
Yeah, just say the like, best of the bay for best guy to contact for stip. Just Dude, put a TNF cocktail you know, I'm, party. I'm holding on up there. a degree right now that says John Dipset Jacobs. You see that? The so Dipset on my Tampa. degree. How crazy is that? How did, why did a guy say- signed this? <laughs> <laughs> You're telling me that the president of the school signed this? I'm not buying it. My degree says John Dipset Jacobs. The degree of Bachelor of Arts. The fuck does that mean? You're a Bachelor of Arts too? <laughs> Welcome back to The Bachelor. The of Bachelors arts. of Arts. Uh, I just painted you a picture, and it means a lot to me, just as you do. Well, I regret to tell you this, but I don't like it, so you must remain a bachelor. You've only got two paintbrushes left. Who are you going to give them to? Oh, I don't know. Maybe one of these hot broads over here. Well, she couldn't climb the rope ladder as fast as me, so I know we're not a match. When we did the rollerblading challenge, she came in third, so I know we're not in love. Listen, when we had the dog shit eating contest, she didn't need any at all. And that's the problem, guys, that you can't vote in the North. Did you know that? It's illegal. They restrict our rights in the other parts of the world. If you live in North Korea, they sit you down and they slice up your nails. And you know what? Sometimes you don't have to have a message in life or in music. Because, you know, sometimes you gotta just bite the bullet. You ever hear that one? Mm hmm. Bite the bullet. Just take that bullet. How do you bite it? Do you have to shoot it into your mouth? <laughs> we gotta. <laughs> don't they do that on magic shows? Penn yeah. and Teller presents shoot each other in the fucking face. <laughs> Yeah, that Check never went out. wrong. How did they not make it go wrong? Yeah, because you know, it blanks, and uh, they have the bullet in their mouths the whole time. I don't believe you. Yeah. They're not. You're telling me they're not shooting each other in the face. Yeah, that, uh, like it's the same way with like those axes. What axes? You know when like they put someone uh, against a wall thing, and then it's like now I'm gonna shoot. I'm gonna throw axes. Ax- at throw axes. Yeah, I like when they throw axes at, them. at you, and yeah. I'm not gonna miss. They I'm spin gonna get very close. Yeah, while <laughs> the person is spinning, it's pretty good. But like they could hit you if they really wanted to, but we're yeah. trained not to. We're, we're trained to miss. <laughs> we uh, <laughs> we've practiced a very long time to make sure that we. Very accurately miss my we, daughter. <laughs> yeah, that's great. It's always a family. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the family carnival. Now and it's like it. these six people. This is my daughter. She jumps through the hoop. And then she jumps through. But she's like a tiger. Yeah, then her and her little brother like do that trick where they just roll. But like, it's just like them like throwing themselves on the <clears throat> ground. Yeah, they're doing some weird... Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. I was actually born in a family circus. Mm. That's Raised. why they named that cartoon after me. What, family circus? Yeah, you ever seen that one? Yeah, I've seen. Uh, that, that Where I'm like, like, terrible. Hey, he took the gumball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was the worst. <laughs> Grandpa likes gumballs. It was always one frame. <laughs> I couldn't even like think of anything more. It's just I was like, all right. I, I feel <laughs> like that's the genius of comedy, to be able to. Invoke laughter with it's a meme. Family Circus mm. was like the first memes. You think so? Yeah, they're like, look at the baby, he crawled all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> and then it would show the dot pattern of where the baby crawled. That's uh, how they showed time. <laughs> they, sh- they showed lines from one place to another. And that's mm. the thing, guys, things are linear, okay? <laughs> and someone told me um on Instagram, they didn't tell me it was written. It was oh, a they, written post. It was a picture of writing. <laughs> Yeah, it was like one of these bot accounts DM'd it, it to me. Bot- They're like, hey, check this out. <laughs> Look at this thingy. But then when I clicked on it, it didn't take me to an Instagram. I had to log into like this Instagram. Instagram? <laughs> and I was like, that? it must be the same login information. It wasn't. I had to create my own account. Oh, weird. <laughs> But then it was when all I, the same stuff. Yeah, I got to see the post. Oh, cool! But it wasn't like what I was thinking. And then uh, I was, I, 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 I couldn't delete it. 
afterwards. Okay. So and it's just there forever? Yeah, so I had to, like, cr- I created, like, an ad account, you know. I was trying oh, to, like, boost an some. An ad account. Trying to boost some stuff. <laughs> I tried to bo- <laughs> boost myself out of shadow ban. They, uh, I was born in a hole, you know? The, you know the same way Bane, you know, talks about the dark or whatever? <laughs> That's how I feel about Facebook ads. Facebook ads. Is there anything worse than being served something that you just talked about on the phone? When I pay for you, I want you to go to my market. I would really appreciate it if I gave you a lot of money and then you found the exact demographic of people who enjoyed my product and I gave you some huge giant sum of money, like numerous millions of dollars, and then you directly message people who you knew would buy my product because you know I give them exactly what they want that's what you got to do you got to give people what they want at any cost okay any cost and tip you know just like the right amount for the service that they gave you hollow cost my hollow point gun bullet shells Welcome to back to personal life tips. Welcome back to lifecoach.com. You're you're listening to the, this is Igor the hottest the jazz. singles near you. Welcome back to Zip 105. Oh, uh, we're, we're we're This we're, is Tad and Thad in the night. We're ready and uh Gypsy in the game willing to talk up. to you. Hey, come here, Stumpy. <laughs> So if you had to do it, how would you do it? Would you rather fuck Baby Groot or Baby Yoda? Which one would you fuck? Which beautiful little innocent character would you fuck? Would it be the one from the Mandalorian? Or would it be the one with no human skin? I'm talking, it's a tree. It's a baby tree. Water the tree. Your daughter and me. Life's about getting wet Life is all about getting the drip The nasal drip Drip too hard Guess what guys? The more you have, the less you really understand And that's why we gotta limit billionaires We gotta, <laughs> we gotta <laughs> cap <laughs> incomes <laughs> Really put some, uh, uh, some fair tax in place you gotta stop letting these corporations Listen, get saw, away with I saw a study nothing, that said there's no any, difference between anything in taxes. Anything, between twenty thousand, there's no difference between twenty thousand dollars and a hundred thousand dollars. That's what they said. They said you feel the same pleasure, but you know the difference it's after between a hundred thousand and a hundred million. Oh, now that's a nice jump. That's a nice but steep jump right there. A hundred million doesn't even compare to a thousand million. Oh yeah, one That's billion. That's right. One That's B. That's right. My name's Jeff B. And I like <laughs> billions. B for billions. I like billions. It's such a high number. You know what people keep telling me? What do you think you know about up? Mike Bloomberg? They say, how do you feel about my Bloomberg file? My, my Mike B. You know, well, I got some bad news for you, buddy. Oh, Bloomberg Corporation, if you're listening to this right now, thank you for the sponsorship. Because you know, like we're we're equal opportunity on this podcast. We yeah. talk about both sides, <laughs> and we're not afraid to be less than either. <laughs> I'm 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 hard on both, equal to or less than. I'll tell you right now. They they That's say both sides brand. are exactly the same. I'm here to tell you. I treat them <laughs> I got both the, the same. Equal to or less than logo branded on my body. That symbol, I got it burned into my skin. Mm-hmm. Because Brand, I'm not afraid. Yeah. To, when it comes to the customer, my custom, er, I like to give them exactly what they want, you know? Yeah, like, I had a guy call me a libtard the other day. A libtard? And I had to show him that I have... Do you have your a, license a, a, on you? No, I have a GOP elephant... Oh, tattoo? Like, tat- no, not even. It's branded. Oh, it's branded. On my abdomen. Oh, like, I, I pulled abs. it up. And, I, and then he was like, all right, uh, sorry about that. Yeah, I thought that was just a birthmark. No, that's a... That's, I, I didn't want to ask you about it because... That was from a ceremony so I did proud with of a, a little a guy. Let's just call him 
M- Mitch McConnell. Huh. I feel like I've heard that name before. But yeah, I, don't know he, uh, I have no idea where I would have heard. He that. did it. <laughs> he did. He, it he grabbed the branding. Oh, I wow. said, I don't know if I'm ready. And he was like, You, you, you joined the Young Republicans. Yeah. Now welcome in. Talk about being hashtag branded, baby. What is your brand? So if you have a branded like me, come on in. Come on to my meeting group. We're gonna meet and talk about the trauma. Sort of party out here. <laughs> it just turns into the the pop song. <laughs> it's like this really weird, crazy intro, and then it just turns into like, and then we all dance. <laughs> Everybody gets real crazy upside down. We wanted to get to know and each then other. Pirate and- Island. <laughs> it's, like, it's like a cartoon show intro. And then we all Produced had to live Zappa. on this island together and learn how to. And compete. there's a mommy and a troll and the Vietnam guy. We we got together and formed a board and, and decided how we're gonna deal with the colonies. And we and have subway sandwiches too. What are we gonna contribute to the global economy? Yeah, branding. Talk about subway. That's tough branding. That's so weird. Yeah, you don't hear anything about the Geico Gecko. You don't hear anything about Verizon guy. You don't hear anything about Flo. You know who you hear about? J-Rod. The Fogey. Old Fogey. Fogel. The Fogelians. I'm from the planet Fogel. And I'm here to warn you guys that there's evil monsters out there. So many monsters. And the only thing you can do to these monsters is blast them right in the center section. With all your might. You gotta kick them really hard in the stomach? Yeah, kick, shoot, punch, whatever you gotta do. That solves so many problems in life. Yeah, I've noticed if you you aim for the direct center. Just right in the middle, like... Whatever you're looking at. One solid hit, it solves pretty much everything. Blow to the, you know, above bottom. Not the top, though. Listen, everybody talks about middle America, you know? Centralism. Centralized banks. I'll talk to you about a bank. East Lake Bank downtown, where I ice skate, where I play ice hockey. I hate that place. It changed my life when I was a kid. You know, because I would come out with the pogo stick on the ice and the dynamite sticks, the firework dynamite sticks that I would throw while I'm on the pogo stick. And at this point, you're thinking, there's no way this is real. There's no way this is real. <laughs> there's no way if this is real. <laughs> but guess real. what? It is real. It is, is real. <laughs> it is yeah, have you ever known? Song's called uh, Israel 2020. Mm-hmm. Israel's gonna uh, be the next super country. <laughs> Listen, I'm betting on it. People you know, don't realize that Israel is built on gold. There's mm-hmm. a giant golden kingdom underground that God lives in with Jesus. They're both still alive, hanging out downstairs, <laughs> laughing it up at what's going on on the crust. They're going. Yeah. Have you seen these? The the giant, you know, the giants and the ogres. That's why you're not allowed to mine over there for gold. You can't mine over there for gold because under there is just this amazing palace. It's just it's like they hit. They you can just Mary go to Magdalene. any like kind of patch of sand and just Magdalene. just kind of like scrub a little bit with your hands and you'll hit gold. And they're yeah. like immediately as soon as you find it, they're like we we have to. Yeah, speaking like, of hitting gold, this is episode fifty nine. Yeah. This is episode 59, you guys. Made it all the way to 500. Welcome to episode 59. This is the actual intro. Everything else before before this this is gonna... It's fake! It's gonna... It was ended up Everything before this is left on the cutting room floor. That happened. We're starting from... That's what they said about the Joker. They filmed for weeks the Joker with a different accent. And then like seven weeks in, they're like, this is actually not a good accent. And then they went back to the beginning. They did that. Yeah, they did that. And now look at us now. Yeah, who's laughing now? They said, you guys are dumb for refilming that movie. And they said, oh, yeah, are we? 
Well, guess who's got their face painted for Halloween? You do. Because you saw me, and you liked the way I was. And yeah. I, like, run nice. This is a nice hot take, but I, I think... Look at my rib cage. Whatever they would have put out for that Joker movie would have made a lot of money. It's an MMA place that serves barbecue called the Rib Cage. Like, they... <laughs> That could have, that could have been the plot of the movie. What? Rip just it, it's just uh, it's just the Joker character Joaquin Phoenix Joaquin selling Phoenix. rib cages. Hi, from... I sell rib cages. <laughs> yeah, he had a. He had Would a you like dope me to role. dance now? Speaking of dope rolls, Pillsbury. This is where we. <laughs> <laughs> Pils- <laughs> Welcome back to Pillsbury Hour. We're Welcome gonna review to some uh, Pillsbury. Pillsbury. <laughs> Pillsbury. I got some Pillsbury got biscuits, some pills and I'm, I bury <laughs> my pills underneath my tongue when I'm going through the airport. Now you're gonna want to preheat I your oven to 425. Shadows. That's what doesn't get me on TV. It's a- <laughs> <laughs> I can't get on TV anymore. Nobody cares. Guess what? You're lucky to even be on TV in the first place. Remember, a lot of people haven't been to the NBA. <laughs> You've been to the NBA. You were in the NBA. Hey, hey, NCAA. Now they get paid. College kids always get paid. Kids get paid. Give the kids money. Give the kids money. It's not funny. I want money. Hey, hey everybody out there. If you got a dollar to spare, let's spare it my way. Spare it my way. Spare it away. Spirited away. Spirit Airlines. Did you spear it away on Spirit Airlines? Spirit Airlines? Are you flying on Spirit Airlines? San Francisco cops on the plane. Spirit flying on me. Why does the spirit fly on me? What's it flying on? The Holy Ghost arises. And Jesus awakes. And he says, you just ruined my slumber party. Welcome to my slumber party. Listen, I'm Jesus. I've, and I've, this I've, is my I've had a lot awesome of close house. encounters. This is, my, this is my party time. Slumber party. I'm Jesus having a slumber party. Ah, oh, boy. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. What's up, guys? My name is Jesus. Yeah, Jesus <laughs> just has a high voice. That's why they killed him. They're like, Jesus, we love everything you said, but your voice is just too much. <laughs> hey, you got everybody some cheese oh, and it's some, it's some fish. That's, dude, that'd be like the million dollar TV series, just the reoccurring sketch of Jesus with a high voice. Well, they're just doing all this shit. They, 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 uh, they, they bombed that uh, company that was making gay Jesus. They bombed them? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, I mean, I, that's why I'm happy that the TNF business is not registered in this address. Yeah. <laughs> because guess what, guys? I live in the studio, so if you want to kill me, you got to come to the studio. We've got a lot of studio. weapons in the studio. You got a studio? Well, what, you, you were wondering what I called this hot air balloon we've been in for the last 12 days? What, you didn't notice that we were floating high above Earth? You never bothered to look out the window? No. Nope. I, I guess that's the problem. Yeah, no, I, I I removed my eyes like a few months ago. That's funny because I also removed my eyes <laughs> oh, before no. you did. So <laughs> oh, really? I feel like I made it cool. <laughs> I was, yeah, so you did it, and I was like, I got I to gotta remove my eyes, man. That looks look so awesome. Well, uh... As you can not see, it is awesome. <laughs> man, that, man, that guy can't see. That's so cool. Man, that guy, that guy can't even see anything. Guess what? The, well, that's what they you know always what? say in the He's motivational lucky. talks. You ever see those motivational talks in school? If he could see this. The guy goes, it wasn't until I was blind that I could actually see. This whole time I was living in a world. I didn't really see the world around me for what it was. Everybody thought I was crazy. They said, he doesn't see the way things are. He's not acknowledging reality. But I know about reality. I know about reality. Hey. Ah. Ah, the pterodactyls grab me by the ankles. It's bringing me up to its little peeps. The little bird 
birds are pecking at me as the giant pterodactyl holds me above them. <laughs> yeah. They, they claw you from, like, the skull, and then they just drag you through the sky. It's a tragic ending we've seen one too many then times. Then they feed you to their little pterodactyl babies, and they're like, Have fun with the little toy! Has and your then friend they, or it's not a member? little toy. They tear it apart! Have like, you been affected by giant birds pecking at you? Well, we might be able to help you in court. I'm a Sign dinosaur Sign up for my lawyer. email list. I'm collecting names of people that got affected by these pterodactyl attacks. I guess you could call them terror dactyls. Oh! Flying demon. <laughs> what uh, what happened to your uh, your sound effects over there? Are you, are you back? Were you uh, oh, yeah, have a little uh, lunch break over there? A little lunch break. Yeah, I see you have Welcome that impossible burger. Talk. Yeah, well, why did you have to buy seven of those Impossible Burgers? Well, I, I needed to, uh, because uh, uh, like I, I run on, on a plant-based diet right now, as you as you know. Also, it looks like you think you're doing one of those foot spa things with the water, but that's actually quick dry cement. <laughs> oh, oh, now, now I feel like yeah, you feel it drying on you. It really, I feel really ridiculous. Yeah, why did you even want to have a foot bath in the first place? I have like these corns growing. Ah, popcorns. Yeah, these. Uh, I I have a. I got one of those R two D two popcorn makers. Yeah, it's actually cool that my real last name is Corn. My name's John Corn because mm-hmm. we call him Johnny Corn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, when I was a kid, they'd call me Johnny Appleseed because Corn was close enough. But uh, yeah, you know, it was cool that my last name was Corn because we'd call my dad Popcorn, and then he, and then he'd, he'd say, "Come here and get some of Pop's corn." <laughs> Cornhole, <laughs> and then and then pops would popcorn would bend over and you know show us. So I guess you can say corn pops. <laughs> I gotta have my my pops. But, you gotta. <laughs> but um, and yeah, we were only allowed to listen to corn. My dad, Johnny Corn. I'm John Corn Corn Do. John Corn Jr. <laughs> John Corn <JCJ>. 2. <laughs> John Corn son. I'm John Corn the second. How but many people thing is, do you, you know, think are actually always, named John Corn? We made it out of the shit. Who are shit, listening you know I mean. to this podcast? Listen, Johnny Corn. We made it out of the shit together, you know? So nice you say it twice. Sugar and spice. Hair full of lice. That famous saying we'd all say when we were tiny little children. You remember that? You remember when everybody was just a tiny little child? Welcome back to the Threatening Children News Hour. Welcome back to the extremely serious, authentic, legitimate threat hour. (laughs) Welcome back to CriminalCrimes.com. We commit crimes all the time, all the time. We love committing so many crimes. We so serious. Breaking the law. Guess what, law? Come here, I'm gonna break you. Because when there's one thing I I feel about laws, they are meant to be bended. You know, the way Baby Yoda bends spoons in season two, that's the way I bend whatever the hell I was just talking about. But um, yeah, I bend laws. That's what I'm talking about. And I, uh, I bend you know, to the universe when they want me to because I try to go with the flow. They say, go with the flow like I'm in the progressive building and the spokesperson's giving me a tour. I go with the flow. She actually is maxing out my credit cards. Flow max. I'm maxing out all of my credit cards. Because I'm, I'm trying to it. make this happen. I'm I, gonna... I can't not help it. I like when people say they can't not do anything. It's just like, they give me so much, <laughs> I, I feel bad not going for it. Did you, you ever just like be looking at something and then you just see math problems like float? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just start looking, like calculating, like I don't know. Yeah, you ever just see like JavaScript floating in the air? Yeah, it's just flying at you. Yeah, and it's like, it's, but it's also like explaining the universe at the same time. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, once you become a math major... Major pain, major math pains. Ouch, that's what my brain had when I was in every grade. I was in college algebra, and uh, there was this uh, this Middle Eastern guy, 
and this woman's doing a, an algebra problem on the board, and then he just turns to the class and he goes, I feel like I'm looking at space language. Space language. Space language. <laughs> well, guess what, you idiot? It's, it's not space language. <laughs> it's numbers and letters with lines and arrows and, and you then know, little little ones above them in the right <laughs> corner. And brackets. Yeah, little, little Are you tiny. in my bracket? And then you gotta make <laughs> Come sure. Here, that little boy, get in my bracket cage. Oh, I got my math problem wrong. I got Welcome my brackets the in the wrong Whee! order. Hoo wee! Welcome I was to the rib cage. To use a, a semicolon here at the rib cage. A comma. We beat our meat in the cage. Speaking of beating my meat in the cage, I was going shark diving recently. Yeah, welcome back to comma hour, where we we give you the only good times to use a comma. Comma hour, but also for cash, <laughs> because it's like how many commas can you get every day? You know what I mean? How many commas did you get today? Comma, 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 comma. I can see that being a song. I got comma, comma, and a coma, comma, comma. I was in a coma, and I'm making commas. Do it in a mama, in a Bahamas. We're, d- we're Roxanne, t- Roxanne. <laughs> we're taking Rushing requests now. You heard that song, Roxanne? Yeah. Oh, it's so good. You don't have to put Roxanne. on the red lights. You did what now? Oh, it's a new song? Yeah, the guy's name is like Arizona. Oh, I thought you were something. talking about it. Roxanne, you don't oh, gotta no, put no, on no, your the red rock lights. Song. No, this is the new Oh, red come red. on, Roxanne. You go, gotta put on the red lights. You don't go down. You don't gotta put on. You don't gotta put on that thing. Really you can wear you. nothing. And I'll be I okay. I trust you too. Much. I'm gonna be okay with Where'd anything that you wear. That's where I put my phone. I'm gonna do I'm something. I'm having a heart attack. That... I think my heart's attacking me. Hey, put the knife down, heart. Don't stab me in the brain? What is it, the, the brain versus the heart? Is that what's going on? One of them thinks and the other one feels. You're splitting the two. You're splitting the two twos. And you have your endocrine system as well. You know, Gary Busey's ripping it up. And you know, you feel things with your body and your mind and your soul, you know? That's what they say in those pictures I see on the internet. The pictures on the internet. why none of my instruments are working anymore it's hailing outside my uh you know it's just very big just my uv shards of hail just you know golf ball (laughs) size (laughs) yeah the worst part is i try to catch them in my mouth (laughs) and they've been knocking my teeth out (laughs) but that doesn't even though i keep yeah accidentally swallowing bits of ice and teeth you know Swallowing what? bits of ice and teeth. Welcome to my my book on tape. Mm-hmm. Welcome to my uh, my yeah. university. Yeah, I specialize in making a, a brine solution for you know de-icing roads. I've actually in the north. been uh, unoiling all my. Yeah, it's a new formula I created. I've been deep pressing. I've just know? been collecting everyone's urine. Cold pressed juice. Why does it got to be cold? Why is it pressed? Pressed on what? Yeah, when it snows up there. (laughs) (laughs) You know, I figured, you know, what melts snow? Yeah, what melts snow? Pee. Oh, it's true. And then you just, you know, it snows, just toss a bunch of piss on it. Yeah, they say don't eat the yellow snow cones. Mm -hmm. But then why do the bullies keep giving them to me? The bully said I'd be cool if I ate the yellow substance. Just like Dan Steen did in the Stella Cup. Guess what? It does make you cool. And you can't tell me it doesn't. I don't listen to what you say. Because I live by a separate set of rules. Despite popular belief. 
and demand and cultural expectations and just, you know, kind of like basic, normal, polite manners. I decided, oh, um, I'm gonna go to the dark side, like Kylo Ren. Like Kylo when? Star Wars chicken? Kylo... Kylo Hen. Oh, the, the chicken. Yes. That, that has the, the mask on. Yes. <laughs> oh, he wears a mask. I've just seen the previews. <laughs> yeah, it's just They a don't chick- show him in a mask. In the it's, a, it's a chicken running around <laughs> with the... You know... It's Use that, the... It, they're like saying things like... Like... You're, you're the dark side now. <laughs> you're the dark meat now. <laughs> Do you like the dark side? Are you light meat or dark meat? How come Popeyes isn't jumping on that shit? What? What do you want? The dark meat meal? (laughs) (laughs) Dark (laughs) meat meal. Dark meat meal. Are you the dark meat side or the light side? Yeah, how is that not going on? Yeah, that never happened. Maybe it happened like back in the day. And we messed up. Back when what, synergy in the Hunt? media was oh. like really popular. Yeah, back now nah, you know not things are just so out of control. Yeah, now it's all about influencers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just people you, exactly like you us. gotta know the right people to really people get with it. trillions of followers as we do and have. This is gonna be viewed in college classes in 2026. People are gonna yeah. go remember when they had the greatest podcast ever. <laughs> and then yeah, he drops that's, that's what they're studying. Pick. Yeah. Whoops. Whoops. Yeah, this is what the Spotify podcast person 12 billion is streams. We got to figure out what are the best podcasts in the world. What's the submission? I feel Episode like if, 59 of yeah, Tampa News. If the Force. cops had to listen to this in court, they wouldn't even play it all the way through. They're like, just skip to that part where they They'd say go, that they did it. Just skip to the one part where they mention us. <laughs> and I feel like that's what we're all trying to do in life, guys. We're all trying to skip to the part we like. Guess what? Life's not about skipping to the part we like. Life's about all the other shit we hate so much. Yeah, life's about doing some stuff that you, you don't really want to hate it so much. Yeah, talk about. But that's just end. the dark side of life. But then when it gets close to ending, you go, I don't actually want it to end. I want to stay in it as long as possible. Because what's the alternative? No life? You know how hard I worked just to get where I am today? You know how hard I worked just to get where I am today? There was nothing like this ever before. I've changed a lot. (laughs) (laughs) I'm a different man now, you know. You know, people, you know, they flip-flop in the media and politics, and they go, he voted like this in 91, and then he voted like this in 91 and a half. And, you know, we're supposed to care that people change their mind in Congress, but, you know, sometimes you get older and you grow and you go, you know what, fine, maybe I don't wear this Halloween costume. Mm -hmm. And, uh... You know, I guess what I'm trying to say is, um, you know, sometimes people like to grow, if you know what I mean. People like to grow up, if you definitely know what I mean. People just haven't grown up, and that's, I think that's the problem with society. I think the problem is that, yeah, is society. There's just people that need to grow society. up. Yeah. And some people just Why don't. Why do these people... These like, people. It, what like, do you mean these people? It, it's it's mostly. I don't know if you've seen them. They're they're like one foot tall. Sometimes maybe one and a half. Yeah. yeah. One oh, and a half. Yeah, of course. And then, like they need to grow up. Yeah, these people who are one and a half feet tall. Like they they just need to get a little bit bigger. Learn learn a little bit more well, see, about that's kind of the thing. society before they start running their mouths. There's definitely at a me on the internet. You know who you are. Person there's, that I was attacking on Twitter recently. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you think he knows? Mm. Oh, he's listening right now. Good, because we need these follows. Yeah. Uh, well, That's they're following we me, but not for the reasons we'd like. Yeah. yeah they're well, like, they're listening because they're like, say some shit about me again. Oh boy, that's what I like to hear. Mm-hmm. 
And, well, and uh, you know, that's what this podcast is all about. I mean, is, uh, we've seen it one too many times happen where we just, we say something while we're blowing off steam and it pisses off the wrong people. Mm-hmm. And now we're up to our neck in tension and drama. There's just too much going on with, with the lot of We make of the- one wrong step. We calculate so well, mm-hmm. I feel like. A lot of these moves, they've been planned for months. We calculate you know. so utterly well. Like all the lyrics for the, for this Yet podcast here we are, today. To and we're completely screwed. Just, just 16 hours of research I and mean, development. It's pretty crazy how upset just, I get. Just teams... <laughs> Just teams of uh, teenagers. The thing is, I'll we, keep talking. We pluck them right out of like art school. People go, "Oh, I'll troll you." I go, "How can you troll me when I'll keep talking to you?" And then that's when they realize they've lost because yeah, I'll talk to the troll for hours and hours. Yeah, it's either you're my friend now, you're my friend you're, now, or you give up and you ignore me forever. Oh, they go, they go. You know what? You're actually even better than me because I can't hurt you. And I go, that's right. You can't troll me. Because if you don't physically touch me, don't touch me. Don't touch okay? me. Stop. Just get back into your Lamborghini. Get back into that, ooh, four door stretch Lamborghini limousine. Is With that a hot what you're driving wait. these days? Wait a minute, hold on. Is there a hot tub in the back of your stretch Lambo limo? Oh, it's a... It's I live in Lambo limbo because I'm not sure if I'm getting my car back <laughs> after it got towed. Yeah, some people call it a, a, a hot tub. I call it a, a, jick, a jack Uzi. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. Well, I, I it, can't believe it took you 59 episodes before you finally read that fortune cookie <laughs> but yeah, yeah it's, I'm happy you finally broke the glass and let the beast out of the cage the, yeah we're, we're we're knocking them out of the park <laughs> listen um, guys we're swinging for the fences like tiger wood's wife oh come on but there wasn't really fences involved yeah there <laughs> <laughs> If there's fences at your golf course, you're, you're doing it there's wrong. There's actually a fence at my fencing the, club. They're, it's funny. All my fencing friends are against the wall, <laughs> but they love their fences. And they go, my fence works quite well. I went to uh, the White House not that long ago. Not inside, but, you know, you visit family <laughs> in D.C. <laughs> and uh, I'm outside and, you know. There's yeah, you big, should have taken the tour. There's this big black guy, and he's got a sign that says, like, we need a wall. I love the wall. And he's just walking back and forth. And I go up to him, and I'm like, uh, hey, you know, why are you so uh, passionate about this wall, huh? And he goes, uh, he goes, you know, you get a security system at your house, right? I go, I guess. He goes, well, what's the difference between that and building a wall around the country? Don't you want to keep the country safe? Build a wall around it. And, you know, That's I was like, what right, the, well, the country needs to be safe, a wall. I how, mean, how about this? How about an electric fence? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> how about this? Let's get real. We nuke the rest of the world. <laughs> oh, you just want to nuke the rest of the world? How about this? How about we just... It, it, <laughs> all cell phones... <laughs> <laughs> Started making a loud buzzing noise and everybody's head explodes. Yeah. Oh yeah, the, no, even like worse. Movie. Ooh, 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 what, what about ooh, Vin we, Diesel? We, yeah, we hire Vin Diesel to go to these countries. Vincent Van Diesel. What? Rip everyone's neck. <laughs> <laughs> the Witcher. This uh, the. Yeah, the, we hire the Witcher. We hire yeah, the butcher the of the, the butcher the, of, of the witches. New York's gangs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the gang butcher. This guy's a gang leader. <laughs> Gangs in New York. I got a big top hat and knives. Over here, it's gang butchers versus gang leaders. And, and I know, only I see one guy with the butcher's knife. You know, it's kind of actually nice to think about getting shot over that. Mm-hmm. If you're getting shot, at least it's like a hot piece of metal that just kind of shoots right through you. A knife is like a dirty, you know... 
a knife is like a big dirty kind of blade and those movies are great blade was the best movie in the world the best avenger and if you disagree i might just have to stab you girl if you slightly disagree with me i'm gonna come as mean as i can at you <laughs> yeah if you just get even just slightly just even like a if little a little bit different than how I think about things. I'm gonna. I'm definitely gonna. I'm gonna your snap aid. you. You know what? I'm about to change your heart. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna. Decided I want to do good instead of evil. You know what? I thought about it for a few moments. I'm and gonna then I those, take my anger I got those out. Bad thoughts out of my head. On petty little things. Bad, bad thoughts. I didn't mean bad it. Thoughts. Oh, bad I didn't thoughts. mean to. I didn't mean to hurt you. Instead, I'm gonna have to make you cry. Oh, I'm gonna feel like shit that night. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna quit everything and dedicate my life. I'm gonna. I just gotta. I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. And, what was uh, that one about? You know, you, you gotta, you know, usually you gotta own up to, <laughs> you, know, you know, when you make a mistake and it's, it's just it's like, like, all right, this, this noise this. chambers underneath pyramids. <laughs> <laughs> and if you made a certain tone, it healed your body. I feel like that's what the podcast is. Yeah. If you hear these noises and sing these noises. It'll, it'll physically fix you yeah, because you certain vibrations within the body and tonage yeah, can realign you. And it's just like, all right, we got to fix this here. I went to a psychic once on Dale Mabry. She, she like threw some holy water and shit on my girlfriend at the time and everybody's crying and everybody's freaking out. But uh, she does some shit for me and then she's like, when you get serious and you want to realign your chakras, come back to me. And I'm like, oh my god, because she was trying to upsell me, you know. Uh, She's yeah, like, for forty more package. dollars, we can, uh, we, I can realign your chakras. And I was like, I'm okay. And, yeah, and she said, well, whenever you start, you know, you get serious. I'm like, get serious. I'm in your psychic house at nighttime, you know, to fucking see if this. Is gonna work out, and you know she sometimes the psychic said she said you're gonna get framed for murder. That was real. I said what? She said you're gonna get framed for murder. And I said am I gonna beat it? And she said no. I said what? She said yeah you're gonna get framed for murder. And then I killed her because you can't get framed if you actually do it, guys. You can't get framed if you actually do it. <laughs> quite the the tail he got there yeah i've been growing it for a while it's i've been putting a uh some sort of oils on my tailbone mm -hmm. and it's been <laughs> growing long that's what they they keep telling them oh you yeah, did I've, uh, I've actually been making salads for strangers recently uh, is that what you call them Strangers? Why? What do you C call them? Because whenever I do a money exchange with somebody, mm. they're not just strangers to me anymore. They're family. That's my family. Don't talk about my family. Anybody who buys something from Maybe me, I'm family. For the, for the artisan cookie. Oh, I sell a lot of things, you know. I he sell a lot of candy. We're at the butcher. He got a salami brick. And he paid me 13 15 gold dollars. They were like, hey, you, you gotta. You, you, please stop trying said, to give me money. I, I, I understand that, you know, the change especially machine. Especially because I, I try to give him counterfeit money. Listen, I know we have a, a pinball machine in the back next to the Neo Geo 
Samurai Showdown machine. Yeah, which reminds me, I gotta get my coin holder out of my, <laughs> my backpack. Yeah, one of the, the four. I'm, I'm running out four of four rack. I'm running out of quarters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have the yeah, I have the coin holder that separates them all individually, but I have I have two of those. I call it a double barrel coin holder. Mm -hmm. And let's just say uh, I've been giving out a lot of coins recently, but you know what? I don't feel bad about it. I actually feel good about it. I'm feeling pretty good about the way my life is going. I'm totally feeling great about every single. S Stinking decision. Yeah, every decision I made is right. <laughs> every <laughs> single thought I've ever had is great. <laughs> I, I totally believe that. I haven't done anything <laughs> that they say bad how in a you while. Spell stuff. Cast a spell on you. I saw that on Instagram the other day. My life is totally not cursed. It said in a you bad have to way. be super careful about how you talk about yourself because, quote, the body doesn't know the difference. <laughs> So if you say you're bad, even if you're joking, they say it's real. So your body's fucking stupid is what you're telling me. Because your body say, is dumb, and you can trick your body. body to do anything. If you say, hey body, you're dumb, apparently your body goes, what did you call me? Yeah, because you, you know, you, your mind and all this other stuff that you think is, you, say, is your body. actual body, it's, it's not. not. That's only like 25%. No. Well, it's funny. Uh, We're actually hey, all plugged into a big computer. You know how uh, they say your brain's only... I think that's just cause, like, because, like, everything why? else, you you never know, like, what's actually inside of your body. is like, oh, probably, like, a I've whole different existence. What's inside my There's body. probably, like, a whole inside I'm out... I'm going strictly like, thing. based on what, you know... Pictures have shown me. Mm -hmm. I've never seen in real life. I don't think a person split wide open. You don't think so? Have you? A few times. In real life. In real life. Oh. Full body. Ooh, no, no. Exactly. I, I guess you maybe see it in maybe movies, yet? pictures. But you uh, go, is this real or am I just being simulated? I think seeing it in, in real life is. If uh, you see it in is, real life, then you know. Is uh, I, I, yeah. So that's what we're trying to say, guys. Go down to the crick. Go down to the creek. Uh, send us in your best uh, stories if you've seen these things. Listen, if we save one person who's drowning in the river, then we've done more than enough for society. Mm -hmm. You know, if if you're near a river, sprint to it now because maybe you know Moses is in there. That's how they found Moses. Remember that? Yep. They're like, this hey, is let's, actually a religious podcast. Let's let's. We're dig. getting paid by. Let's dig in the beach. The church. I like how they just call it the church. You guys all want to meet down by the beach for an, a good old dig? You guys want to... Oh, good old fashioned... Are you allowed to dig, dig on, on the, the beach? beach? Can you dig for personal reasons? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm digging for financial gain. No, as long as you put it like for like... No, it's a bullshit. digging contest. No, that's that bullshit, thing. dude. Because but how deep? You end up just dredging like the... <laughs> yeah, because what if I don't stop digging? What if I'm like, I'm going 100 feet down? I, th I think the pressure and, and everything... I'd die. Yeah, like a, a giant wanna... wave would come. Yeah, but that's where the treasure is. Yeah. You think the bones aren't down there? You're going to find like goblin bones. Yeah, people always like dig like You're big gonna holes. You're going to find dragon skeletons that deep. That's why there's sand. Did yeah. you know that? Sand? No, that's, that's just like old. That's just old rocks, you know, that are just old rocks. That are, why are they so been, small? They're grinded down. You're telling through... me they got Benjamin Button disease? <laughs> no, it's just, it's just like just fine, fine rock. What do you just, mean fine? You know, like it's, it's never fine, no matter it, how much your rock says it. it. It's it, you know, it's how like you? it's been through the shredder. It's the like shredder. So you know, like those cheese graders. <laughs> What do you say? You know, like those cheese graters? Yeah, the cheese graters. Yeah. What about them? It, it, someone just took that to a rock, and that's just life. You know? Oh. Yeah, I life. feel like I've heard that before. Life is just a shredder on the rock. Oh, that's yeah. a sand. I'm happy yeah. you could put it in terms that, that I understood. And now you can, that's why you can get it wet and, and you know, mold it into like. Because it's so small. Big, big that water. Who would have thought that, you know? Because, <laughs> because when rock's big, he's going. There's, you know, there's nothing that could hurt me, especially, especially water, you know, mm -hmm. especially something as weak as water. Yeah, just water combined with a bunch of stuff. And then water goes, you're never going to believe this. But guess what? Now I, I can grab a whole bunch of you and I make you stick together. <laughs> 
And I feel like that's all I was ever trying to do in the first place. Mm -hmm. And then the credits roll. I've become so transformed. Thanks for tuning in to my sand movie. Tune in at six. You just watched Spider-Man 3. That was Spider-Man 3. By Sam Raimi. The, uh, Thank you for watching Spider-Man McGuire 3. And uh, Topher Grace. Now that you have watched Spider-Man 3, <laughs> would you like to watch The Amazing Spider-Man? Yeah, it's going to be your future TV shit. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah I guess I'll watch it next. Yeah, because instead of just saying, like, are you still watching and it auto plays, it'll talk to you. Yeah. Hello? Sandy? It, can't you actually watch Wake up, stuff? sleepyhead. The office is playing. Like it, What's yeah. that? <laughs> oh, thanks, TV. Yeah, but hey, buddy. <laughs> here, come here. Come real close. Stick your tongue in my <laughs> slot. No, oh, but, yeah. No, but can't you... Digital love. <laughs> yeah, what's that? Can't you actually, like, uh, in... Do what? Uh, sex uh, with your TV? I think so. I think so. There's a few ways, like, science is getting there. Like, they're, they're not conventional, but... Yeah. It's 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 doable. Yeah, no, I've been hearing way too much about RGB the future recently. Everybody's yeah. about this 2020 stuff. We're not even there yet. You yeah, know, have you like, heard about that? I mean, people keep telling me that, like, you know, now that we have, like, two of the same two numbers, things should be a little more chill. You know what I mean? Because, you know, 19 is such a stressful number. You go, am I going to make it? Because nine to zero, that's such a huge jump. That's the reset button. You go, yeah. we're going from nine back to zero. That's the highest we go. You know, you know, nine. It's, you know, it's kind of weird. Four years ago is when most of the country was being introduced to then Time. A presidential candidate Donald Trump. That's true. Yeah. So and I guess uh, you could say it was all worth it. It's always a four-year cycle. Revote Trump. Put him back in the White House. So, and we're remember, really big fans of Trump. So uh, we're we're actually registered as a Trump pro this Trump super a, PAC. Um, this is a Trump charity. So show? if you actually donate we today, are, uh, we totally don't coordinate with the campaign. We do not coordinate with them, but um, we are we, we are legally tied to them. It was. It, <laughs> Listen, he's whatever actually you give a, us, he's using us to to get free charity money. We've been accepting physical gifts yeah. as well as songs and dances. We've now been accepting a new form of payment, mm -hmm. which is something that we don't even really want to talk about right now. Yeah, it's it's like this new type of Bitcoin, but it's like, but it's like Trump Bitcoin. Yeah, I, I think uh, I've said too much. I think I've said way too much this episode. But let's just say it's called Trump Coin. And let's just say right now there are computer farms across the world mining Trump I am coins. Truly, I can't believe what I'm seeing. This is actually the cops are knocking on the door right now. Uh, I was wondering they're if like, that's what was going on. The feds, they're going to be like, oh, no. oh man, you should have not. Oh, God, but the this feds. Is, this is what they're they're not telling us about. What? They're starting to make their own currency. Billionaires are just going to make their own currency and keep I, their yeah. money. In. No, it will <laughs> they're gonna they're gonna just transfer all their liquid well, assets I wonder into a lot. digital you know Yes, I uh, constantly ponder yeah. why they haven't killed all poor people yet. And you know, all I can think is uh you know, even when we have automation, we can't kill everyone because then nobody's gonna buy all the shitty products. Everybody's gonna be eating healthy. You think rich people are all gonna be eating like, you know, dog shit pork rinds you know all these shitty businesses will go away nobody's eating doritos and sun chips you think so oh yeah i think that's what it's only gonna exist no way man the billionaires aren't eating fucking mcdonald's every day the billionaires they're eating you know steaks ever the nah. steaks are high comedian I check it out youtube <laughs> <laughs> All right, on that note. On that note. Uh, thanks for tuning um, in. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, there's this is uh, our last three songs. Th these are the. These um, are gonna be our. <laughs>
uh, you know, you guys, uh, you guys pick a night like this. To, yeah, you guys pick such a crazy night to, to listen to something oh, wow. as yeah, it's, outrageous it's as us. Well, so, yep, yep. See you later, everybody.